Hey guys, my name is Jed and I'm here today to present you a video for my team predictions for game week 6 and I'll be sharing my, my predictions along with my friend Sean and we'll see who gets the most um, predictions correct for this game week. Let's get into it. So we'll begin with the first fixture for game week 6 which is Man City versus Chelsea. Pretty big game. Um, Man City have won the Premier League title last season and Chelsea have won the Champions League beating Manchester City. So this will be a very, very interesting game. But I think with how Chelsea is this season, they've started really well. Um, they, ha they have been undefeated, um, winning um, most of their games, all their games besides the one against Liverpool. And when they win, they win with big scores. So um, I would expect Chelsea to win against Man City. And it wouldn't necessarily be a great score like against other teams, but Man City have been a bit inconsistent because their first game they've lost against Tottenham um, 1 0, but then afterwards they beat um, Norwich and Arsenal 5 0. And with Leicester, they went um, 1 0, and Southampton, it was a draw, 0 0. So it's like they're a bit inconsistent, whereas Chelsea is very consistent and they're really good right now, in good shape, good form. And I'm my prediction for this for this game. I, I don't know if Chelsea would be able to keep a clean sheet, but I'd, I'd say it'd be a 2-1 for Chelsea versus Manchester City. The next game, which is Manchester United versus Aston Villa. Um, to be honest, it's uh, another um, tight prediction in a sense, because Aston Villa, they've been inconsistent too. They've um, they lost their first game versus Watford. I think it was three two. Um, they drew with Brentford. Um, they lost three nil to Chelsea, but they beat Everton three nil, which I I was not really expecting. So I'm I'm thinking that um, Aston Villa they're good attacking attacking wise. They're good. They could. Um, score against Manu and Manchester United haven't really kept clean sheets since the beginning of the season. They have been winning their games, um, but they haven't um, kept clean sheets. So I'd expect it to be a 3-1 with, now that they have Ronaldo, Ronaldo has been very consistent. He's played only three games and scored four goals. So um, I'd expect Ronaldo to make have an impact in the game. So for me, my prediction would be a 3-1 win for Manchester United. So my next prediction will be pretty straightforward for me. Um, Everton versus Norwich. I think it will be a 2-0 win for um, Everton. Uh, Norwich, their defense have been lacking a bit. They haven't. They've been conceding a lot um, since the beginning of the season. Even though they've faced um, hard hard teams. But I think it would really be a struggle for Everton. Um, even though they lost 3-0 to Aston Villa, I still think that they're capable of um, beating Norwich at least 2-0. So yeah. We then have um, West Ham versus Leeds. Um, to be honest, I don't think there'll be, there'll be any clean sheets for either team in this fixture. Both are really good attacking teams, so you'd expect goals from both sides. But I tend to favor the win to West Ham. West Ham have been very good since the beginning of the season. They've um, won most of their games. Um, they lost against Manu last game week, um, which I think they could have draw, drawn against them. They played fairly well, both Manu and um, West Ham, so... I think West Ham um, are capable of beating Leeds with at least a three three goal victory and also Leeds scoring one goal. So my prediction for this game week would be a 3-1 victory for West Ham. Also that Antonio will be back. So it will, it will be an advantage for them since he's had a great start to the season. So, yeah. 
Um, next we have Leicester versus um, Burnley. Um, I think it's a fairly clear win to Leicester, to my opinion. Um, Burnley haven't been so great. And um, I know it's still game week six, but they haven't really been that great. So I don't think it'll be much of a problem to for Leicester to win this game. Um, I think they'll even keep a, keep a clean sheet. So for me, I'd predict this game to go at least um, to go two two nil. Um, we then have Watford versus Newcastle. Um, I feel like this will be a tight game. Um, I predict a uh, one one a draw for both team because. Um, Newcastle's defense haven't haven't been so great. They've conceded in every games since the beginning of the season. Um, they've they've conceded a lot. Um, so they haven't kept any clean sheets. So I wouldn't expect them to keep one uh, against Watford. Watford. Um, we saw that Watford can score goals. Um, even they beat um, Aston Villa three two in the first game week. So um, I'd expect Watford to score, but Nothing much, nothing more. I feel like it's going to be a 1-1 one -one for this fixture. We then move on to Bradford versus Liverpool. Um, as a Liverpool fan, I'll try not to be as biased, but I mean, it's my prediction anyway, so it's fine. Um, Liverpool have been in great form um, since the beginning of the season. Haven't lost any games. Uh, they ended last season strong, so they've kept that momentum for this season. And they've been doing good even in their Champions League. Um, also, they also showed us that they don't need their key players to win um, their games. Like last week, we didn't have Trent or Robertson against Crystal Palace and they still won 3-0. So even though Trent does contribute a lot to the attack, we still won 3-0. Um, and I feel like um, Liverpool will they have the capacity to deliver like this. Um, con I mean, they've been very consistent in all of their games. So um, you'd expect Liverpool to win against Bradford. Bradford have been good, um, but with Liverpool and how they are right now, they I'd put them on the same level as um, Chelsea. Even though all their stats have been the same since the beginning of the season, goal difference, it's pretty weird, but all the stats are the same. So. But Liverpool and Chelsea had put on the same level and they're capable of like winning their games and they're very consistent this season. So for me, I'd give it a 3-0 victory again against Brentford. But yeah, I hope they do. <laughs> um, next up we have um, Wolves versus Southampton. Um, no one's really talking about Southampton. And they've lost only one game. They've had, they drew in all of the other games, but they've drawn against um, Manchester City, Manchester United, West Ham. Um, three fairly hard fixtures. I thought they'd lose miserably against City and United, but they held, they, they drew. So I feel like it's something to consider. And Wolves, they're, they're a good team. They, they're, very good attacking wise but they're just not um, getting the goals i feel like wolves are cap capable of beating southampton but at the same time with all the games southampton played they've drawn against the big team so it's making me a bit indecisive but i'd i'd say it's a win for wolves and they'll keep a clean sheet a one nil victory for wolves so i predict one one nil Wolves win against Southampton. Up next we have Arsenal versus Tottenham. Um, Arsenal haven't been so great this season. Pretty, and it's still the beginning of the season, but they haven't been so great. It's like they're fighting relegation. Just kidding, no offense to all Arsenal fans, but I know it's still game week six, but they're not playing so great. Um, they barely won their game against Burnley. I think without that free kick by Odegaard, it would have it would have been a draw. Um, they they won one nil against Norwich. They lost all their previous games, so um, I feel like Tottenham aren't as great either. They they beat um, City one nil, yeah, but 
they lost 3 0 to Crystal Palace, even though, yes, they had 10 men. They lost 3 0 against Chelsea. So I feel like um, Spurs, they aren't on a good form either, but they are capable of um, winning against Arsenal. So I think it's going to be a, a 1 0 victory for Tottenham. Yeah, 1 0 for Tottenham versus Arsenal. My camera died on that last part, but um, last but not least, Brighton versus um, Crystal Palace. Um, Brighton have had a really good defense, they've kept a few clean sheets. They only lost against Everton, but they've been undefeated for their other games. Um, they even won against Leicester, which was very impressive. Um, and they have the capacity to keep clean sheets, to have a good defense, good goalkeeper. So. I think they can win against Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace is also good. Um, they're good attacking wise. Um, they haven't really been keeping much clean sheets. But um, I mean, they beat Tottenham 3 0, which was also impressive. But I'm not really expecting um, Crystal Palace beating um, Brighton. So my prediction for this game would be. 2-0 victory for Brighton. I hope they keep their clean sheets. Hey guys, it's Phone from Mauritius and welcome back to another video. And it's time for Game Week 6 Premier League predictions. And yeah, let's get right into it. So, first up for the opener of Game Week 6, we got a fun game to watch. Chelsea versus Manchester City. And this season, Chelsea and Liverpool are being... Or playing the way that we expected that City would be playing this year, especially after signing Jack Grealish. But turned out to be the other way. And plus Chelsea is playing at home. It should really be an easy win for Chelsea because right now they are the best defence alongside Liverpool in the league. Tight prediction, but I'll go with a free one for Chelsea. Next up, we got the Manchester versus Aston Villa game. And to be honest with this one... For sure, with the signing of Inks, Aston Villa has strengthened the attack, but you still feel like there's something lacking in the defence because they are quite conceding some goal this season, even though we only played five games. And with the abilities of Ronaldo in Manchester United, and especially playing at home in front of Alex Ferguson, I think it should be an easy win for Manchester United, so I'll go for a 3-0 victory with a Ronaldo hat-trick. Next up, we got Everton versus Norwich, and oof, what can I say? We got the worst defense in the league, and it versus a team who is pretty consistent this season. I don't think it's gonna be the first game that Norwich is gonna draw or win this season, so I'll go for an easy two nil victory for Everton. Leeds versus West Ham, and oof, I'm sure you all think that. West Ham is going to have an easy victory against Leeds because we have Antonio and Ben Rama in pretty good form right now. And Leeds right now is not the Leeds we had last season who was giving a hard time to every team. But I think everybody got back now. You have Soik who's off his red card, Bamford and Phillips back in the squad. And this is time for the Bielsa effect I think. And it's going to be a hard one and not a victory for any team. I'll go for a 2-2. Leicester versus Burnley. Now, this one is a pretty hard one to predict because Burnley is either really good or really bad. There's not in between. If Burnley decides to show up, you know you're, ha you're going to have to defend a lot. Because when they attack and when they're having their good days they really do score a lot of goals especially with wood in front Oof, hard one to predict but i'll go for one all for leicester versus but watford versus newcastle and watford are doing better than i expected this season even though they only have six points they are doing better than expected with the talents of ismail Assar. Versus the talent of Alain Saint Maxima in Newcastle. It's going to be a tight one, but I think it's going to be a 3 2 win for Newcastle. Now we got Brentford versus Liverpool. 
and as a Liverpool fan, I'll try to be as free from bias as possible. But you got Anfield versus a little Anfield playing together. Because when I watched the first game of Brentford playing in the Premier League versus Arsenal, it was really an atmosphere full of vibrations. You could see how the fans are passionate about football and give it all for Brentford to win on the pitch. I think it's not going to be as an easy victory as I fought for Liverpool. And Brentford are definitely going to score one in this game. But what can I say? We got a Mo Salah in such an incredible form right now. And if Trent Alexander-Arnold and Robertson are back into the squad, it should even boost up to play better. But I'll go for a 3-1 victory for Liverpool. No clean sheet intended. Now, Southampton versus Wolves. And in normal days, I'll usually predict a Wolves victory over Southampton because they really got the upper hand over Southampton. But I think since Nuno left, it's not the Wolves we usually used to see last season or even the past three seasons. And Southampton has been showing off a lot this season with a player named Livramento. I really think he's bringing the team play better, so much better. He's improved the defense and as well he's going and taking the risk of going into the attack and really building up a play with the team. I don't think Wolves can... I mean, Wolves are having easy fixtures right now and they are not being able to take the most out of it. So I'll go for Southampton win over Wolves 2-1. Now, on to Arsenal versus Tottenham. And this is the battle where you will have a lot of your friends saying, is London red or white? But I think this season we can all agree that London is more white than red because Arsenal are not really showing up this season. And Tottenham with Nuno at the, as the manager are really managing to have such a good gameplay this season. Even the... The proof, they beat City during game week one, where nobody expected it, it went against all the odds. And even though they are playing, Arsenal is playing at home, I think Spurs will be able to come and shake Arsenal, like they shook City, why not? But Arsenal are really having the confidence again now after two victories in a row, and I'll go for a 3-1 victory for Spurs. Final game of game week 6, Crystal Palace versus Brighton. And what can I say? Brighton is 4th in the league. Yeah, you're not living in another world. Brighton is 4th in the league. And they really have been showing up this season. Whew. I'll make it short, even though they're playing away. I think it go to a 2-1 victory for Brighton. Um, thanks for watching. These were my predictions for... Um... The game week six um it's all my opinion so if you guys don't agree it's totally fine it's just my predictions and the goal is to try to have different predictions from my friend to see who has the most right predictions at the end so yeah thanks for watching